had the most incredible of days today. Absolutely magical and mysterious type of day today. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a lovely, crappy, awesome day. My name is Owen, just joking with the crap. But yeah, <laughs> welcome to the video. <laughs> now today's video, we're going to talk to you, we're going to show you and so talk to you about what we have done to help open our pineal glands yes. a lot more now this video isn't going to say look you're going to open your pineal glands overnight because we're still learning this ourselves and it's like a lifelong process but we're going to share with you what we've done over the years that's really helped us to see a bit more out of the box definitely it's awesome. not saying, sorry but go ahead yeah, yeah, no awesome. just remember saying there like generally it's not going to happen overnight and it's took all these years to you know to block it and to calcify it over yeah. so it's not going to happen overnight so it's going to take you you know and be a pleasant journey for the rest of your life looking forward <laughs> to getting it up to that stage that we can say it's truly open <laughs> so i'll give you the bad news first the reason why like we were talking about this video is because we've been we've been uh, had our third eye our pineal gland closed down okay it's been calcified or solidified or like um sedimented like hardened okay like a stone and when you get an MRI scan, like a brain scan, it shows it should be all grey um, in the scan. But because the pineal gland is like like a rock, more rockified or like a rock now, it's like a white, um, like a marble or a white thing on the MRI, which shows that the pineal gland is being like calcified. Oh, it's not working properly. So my idea is like we, it's our birthright and our God-given like natural right, just like walking if you have legs, or looking if you have eyes, or thinking if you have a mind. We should naturally have like um, a, a working pineal gland, yeah. but it was it was we've been poisoned with fluoride in the water and fluoride in a lot of um, supermarket um, products. And the pineal gland I've heard is the most blood um, flowing gland in the body. And generally, fluoride in parts per million in the body is like maybe twenty or thirty or something very minor. But the pineal gland parts per million can be as high as twenty two thousand. So basically it's like a magnet for fluoride and um, that's why they poison us with fluoride because so they true. know this information I'm saying so they know it's like collecting and They don't want us to know. Yeah. Keep so, us in the box. Mm, yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Suppress us <laughs> until The more that. suppressed we are, the less we know what is really going do, on in the world. Do, do, do. <laughs> it's true. And we don't <laughs> try to sound too Star Trek like. The pineal gland, also known as the third eye, is yeah. like this big eye looking at. It's like in a scene, what, what you really see, your sixth sense. And you know, they, what they do to, su to suppress that, you know, they put it into our foods, all the toxins, all the chemicals, yeah. in the air, in the water. So dairy, like polluted factory farm dairy and meat are huge contaminants overall to our, our, our chakras, our energy system, our bodies, our glands. Uh, like I, I, I like to say to people, if you eat meat, like at least just try to buy organic for your own health purposes. At the very least, it's far less polluted and toxic. Or, or give up meat altogether. That's probably um, obviously, and that's not that's for your benefit, but also for the benefit of the animals. Absolutely, that's yeah, hundred um, percent. Because obviously, they push the things out there that they know block the pineal gland. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> things like the meat and dairy industries are pushing out because they know that that congests the body. Yeah, big time. And it does, it does block the pineal gland. And there are other glands too, not just the pineal. Like this is almost like a health I video now, just for this moment, this minute. All the other glands will get congested and deactivated and your organs will get fatified and just what you eat and put into your body like is really really important it goes to your brain and your blood so i think we all know like if you eat like really sort of unhealthy food or junk food you can get sick and you don't think properly and you get agitated emotionally yeah. you don't work properly as a human being like your potential is like totally lowered depending on what you do in life so and that, like the pineal gland as well like all the media out there all the mass advertising the subliminal messages every time you go out there you've got not only the visual subliminal messages you see the big billboard posters mm. the advertising look on the pretty. news and the magazines <laughs> yeah telling you you have to look a certain way be a certain way think a certain way be a certain size and everything all this mass mass brainwashing and conditioning yeah. that we have been pumping to us since the day we were born yeah 100%. totally in the system and us being so systemized that just blocks the pineal gland Does, as yeah. well as the physical blocking from all the toxins and everything around us yeah. spiritually it just closes tight because of all this mass brainwashing yeah. that is stopping us from being our real selves i love that i love that it's that's totally true so, and if, you say, so if you say to so, yourself you don't you, if you don't use it you lose it and that, that's the biggest thing as well we forget 
hard to use it and slowly but surely you start to get these layer after layer after layer uh, covering your pineal gland and basically that's what we're going to be sharing with you how we have incorporated different things in our life and slowly but surely mm. it's almost as if you can imagine that the pineal gland is, is covered in a coating and the more that you do when till it it start, you're starting to crack it open like a yeah. shell the pieces fall off and there's more light starting to come out it's a seat of the soul of the third eye as Linus said and this is what we're just wanting to share with you and it's not Everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to be in a different stage of their journey. And, you know, it's, it's we can't, you know, say to you to be like us and think like, yeah. we can only share things be like us. For us like. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? So, Lenny, what would you say the biggest yeah. thing you could do? Well, the, the biggest or thing... Even one of the things. Yeah, I, I find, um, with me anyway, the most magnificent thing I know. First of all, the very first thing was the crystals. I got into crystals uh, many years ago and I found when I first started working with crystals, even before I actually started working with them, I just started collecting them because I was fascinated by them. I noticed that my dreams, I was having these amazing dreams. I started to think a lot more out of the box, realizing what was going on out there. I got really into psychic things and spirituality, spiritism, and it really got me on a whole new journey. And I know a lot of you guys are into crystals wow. as well, and you probably agree with that. Once you get into them and you're mm. using all the different types, it just opens you up to a whole new reality. Yep. Yep. So that got me really on the spiritual path, which helped to open it up. Mm. Um, the second thing that I found was major for me was when I went vegan. Um, and we're not preaching, it's not a preaching video, guys. I'm just saying what helped for me. Yeah, and um, removing all the bad stuff out of the diet. And I'm not perfect by any means. Uh, but no. <laughs> but um, just removing that and eating a lot more fresh fruits and vegetables definitely helped. Because you're removing as much as possible out of the system. Yeah. Um, better still in an ideal world, more organic and everything like that. Organic fruit and veg, and that's even better still. But you have to do what you can do. That to me had a massive, massive to what I opened wow. up. Mm -hmm. um, also meditation as well, um, mm. relaxing meditation. That really helps. The more relaxed you are, more of a clear channel you yeah, are. Yeah, totally true. Um, agree with that, yeah. Aromatherapy oils as well. Mm. I love using my aromatherapy. We've got a lang lang burning at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> that is just the most amazing oh. thing. That yeah. helps to. I really think when it comes to to the pineal gland, the more relaxed you are, the more open of a, of a, a channel that you are. And Definitely. you're more receptive. Um, and I found the oils really, really helpful as well. I think we're actually suppressed yeah. by all the information. Lynn's already touched on it, no one's touched on it. Um, you know, the subliminal messages and advertising and the televisions and the, the mm -hmm. books. And we're not here to, to preach about banning all media, but the fact of the matter is, is that once you're deflected from the bigger picture mm -hmm. on somebody else's picture, they're, they're creating, you know, to control you and to control your mind. And you, you, you forget how to communicate with the most important person in your life and that's your higher self. And that's what you need to do. As Lynn said, it's about meditation, get out into nature and try to detach yeah, yourself nature. away from this mind control and the things that actually is not making you feel well. And you know about food and the diet and things like that. When you start to eat um, you know, certain foods, you're gonna feel quite heavy, quite stagnant. When you're eating quite uh, rich and life living foods, mm. you're gonna start elevating yourself yeah. up in that higher state of consciousness and start to, uh, but the meditation has been a great one right in the year. Chair, what do you reckon? What do you think is one of your biggest things? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say um, it's a holistic thing. So if all of your chakras and your whole energy system, your whole field as a one unit, if you could imagine, that, that's all tied into your pineal gland also. So I'd say holistic healing of body, mind, spirit and emotions. Brilliant. Yeah. So absolutely deal with like healing from your past, letting go of any and all blocks that you can in any and all of your chakras. Try and like heal every chakra you have going by either going to energy healers that you really like and resonate with and also by inner reflection and looking over your life and looking at what's holding you back and the blocks that you have in any area of your life, abundance, health, um, relationships, your career, your passion, your life calling, finding purpose, fulfillment and satisfaction um, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually and um, living true to yourself so all that involves basically a whole like chakra wide energy wide like clear up of your system and unclogging and um, that's extremely important and another thing i'd say like that's really 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 important obviously and that will work and um i asked i once asked um lincoln gregor up, who's up to higher ch channel higher self channel like what he recommends for clearing up the pineal opening it awakening it that's sort of what he kind of more or less said um as you grow and mature and like spiritual growth, so to speak, was his answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it sounds logical. Yeah. Because people would, would automatically think that, you know, if your 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 penny gland is blocked, 
Mm-hmm. I know I want that fixed. You, you start to say to them, well, you know, as one said, you're with the mind, body and spirit. You have to go to the source of one what's caused it yeah. and start taking them layers and starting to shift that baggage. And people say, no, no, I want to put a crystal on here and it's mm-hmm. automatically going to disappear. I want to listen to a piece of music and it's just going to disappear and I'm going to be this yeah. levitating Buddha <laughs> floating about in astral planes, <laughs> sorting things out. Well, this doesn't work that way. It can work for some people. Um, mm-hmm. Depression and somebody going through some sort of trauma in their life has also awaken that person awaken that thing because yeah. it's actually they've been stripped right down yeah. and it cracks bones, sometimes and it's major cracks. stress they've lost, can crack the yeah. gland they think that they've lost everything uh-huh. in life and in the physical context that's quite true but if you look at anybody we've all been through different stages of our journey mm-hmm. to get us to where we're getting on the spiritual path you're watching this video now I'm sure you've done the same mm-hmm. thing when you go through a bit of trauma it's almost as if you're, you're stripped down to the bare bones yeah. And that's you where you connect to the more spiritual, yeah. and you'll find it during yeah. that. And you have people say, Oh, something cracked in my head. I felt yeah. like just. Some people you know, actually hear a cracking noise. Yeah, yeah. I've heard, I heard a few stories, like some clairvoyance and that. They actually said that they didn't have any senses. Well, they did, but not that they were aware of before. And then they go through a divorce or major bereavement or some tragic life, life threatening accident. Mm-hmm. And they say that they actually sometimes hear a crack. Mm. And they, they sometimes like they, they that's it supposed to be, awakens their pineal mm. gland is opened and they're more psychic and they have yeah. all these abilities. Some of them turn yeah. into healers and everything and I think I have a friend like that, yeah. It's amazing. It's almost like they experience. had to go that really, really stressful time mm. to actually come out of it. So, it's, I mean, we wouldn't recommend how to open it by going through a terrible, stressful time yeah. because that does happen. Obviously, not yeah. intentional, but that does happen to some people. But we can't show how to do it without having yeah. to go through something mm. as extreme as that. Go and take a nervous break. Yeah, and get yeah. your pineal gland broken up, like you know. One thing that's helped me a lot is like I've had two like massive like my eyes closed in the morning time late like not long ago in my life I had two massive like white light flashes wow. in my brain and in my mind you know wow. and I heard that this is something along the lines of what some people call like crown chakra burst or at least pineal awakening more and opening up my dreams have become more lucid um overall for sure like much better um and basically for around two two months now um. I've just been doing like 90 to 95, 95% raw, except for nearly all of the time, or 100% raw sometimes. Do uh, you explain raw for in case people? Like know. raw food, like raw, not not cook, not cooking anything, like just having like fruits, veg, fruits and uh, salads mostly, or maybe like making like almond milk, um, but mostly just a whole lot of fruits and vegetables and salads and stuff like that. So nothing cooked, and um, the raw food diet type of idea, mm-hmm. um, it's. So that between, made you feel that made you feel that yeah I've therapy. been doing 95 to 100 percent raw food for two months I was practicing urine therapy which is sensational I highly recommend that I'd really recommend urine therapy to like open your pineal gland by a massive long powerful shot I'd really recommend getting a distiller buy a distiller a distiller is the best thing even though there's a lot of bad propaganda out there not to buy a distiller I personally believe it's like misinformation and also cover-ups because distiller is like you're Dist- talking about a water distiller? A no. water distiller machine. Not making alcohol. <laughs> no, yeah. a water distiller machine. They're called distillers. And it's just basically replicating the hydrological cycle of Mother Earth via evaporation and then condensation. All you're left with is as close to pure water as possible. So when you say distilled water, it's just a fancy word for pure water. It's just pure water without a whole, anything else, really. You've got links on your... We're going to put links down below this video. It doesn't matter yeah. where you'll be watching this on Owen's channel or our channel, but we'll put links down below to the relevant videos. Yeah that Owen has made, um, quite uh, opening our minds. Uh, so the put the links on the, the power of your, raw food urine therapy is extremely, extremely powerful. I found urine therapy to be a life changer and, and a game changer completely in my life. And I know loads of other people who have been too. Um, it's great for millions of things apart from just your pineal gland. Okay. And another thing I was practicing was celibacy. So no, like no little to no sexual activity with anybody or myself. That's like helpful, especially if you want that extra edge. And being fit, only, by the way. Not for everybody, by the way. Only, only if it resonates with yeah. these guys. <laughs> yeah, you, don't, you don't have to do that. It's just, it's just like doing something like an extra benefit kind of. Um, but it's very helpful if you've been sick or injured, if your vitality is low, because then sexual energy is like kind of takes a lot out of you. If your vitality has been low or you've been sick or injured, or let's say you've just given birth to a mother and you have like exhaustion and maybe you postpartum. Um, it's always good to try and save your vitality or take herbs to increase your vitality. I have a herb shop, um, higherselfherbs.com, and my most popular product is like called Rejuvenate. It is for like, rejuvenating yourself from like deep chronic stress, injury, trauma, 
um, depletion. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So. I mean, not the benefit, but the, the pineal gland. And if the, anything the, to increase your vitality and your overall health of your system, would definitely as a holistic thing, absolutely. The main body and spur. This is as all mentioned the uh, previously. Package. Yeah, that yeah. you can't just go for. Um, you know the one sacks and just you're wanting something to happen. You know what I mean? Because we often, um, sorry, me but in no, go ahead, my darling. Go, go, go. <laughs> we mm. often get asked a lot of the time, what crystal can help to open my pineal gland? Mm. And I say, well, unfortunately, I can't recommend one crystal, but you're just going to put on and then close but, your eyes, that's <laughs> it, it's open. It's life's not like that. <laughs> what you can, I mean, obviously, crystals will definitely help if you use them as a tool and not just expect the crystal to do everything for mm. you. Obviously, like crystals like molderite, larimar, malachite. Um, they're all powerful crystals Perfect that if you use them on the third eye, the pineal gland, and actually meditate mm -hmm. with them alongside all the other things that we've recommended here, yeah. um, will definitely help. But there's no quick fix, cures all. Visualization. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, yeah. curious. Yeah, yeah. Well, you think that worked? Yeah. 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 Visualization. Yeah. So what you'd be doing is, is um, <laughs> if you can visualize uh, your pineal gland there, it's actually it's in the center of the head, although you can get access to that front bit mm -hmm. of it. But Visualizations is also one, yeah. and you know you could actually be sitting with a nice piece of music there, and people working with different frequencies of music will also help. But we think if you take everything into consideration, your mind, body, and spirit, the more you can do to detach yourself from this physical reality and all its trappings, it's, it, no, it's easier said than done. But the fact of the matter is that we're conditioned by stress. Most of us that we're walking through life, and people's worrying about their wages, yeah. and worrying about their family, and worrying about this, and worrying about the wars, and worrying about. And that's creating, you know, it's making us think of the left hand side um, of the brain instead of going over to the right hand side of creativity and things like that. So we'd say if you get into nature, you're working with crystal energy, mm. you're working with what you're put into your body. If you think your body is your temple, and as say this is like your the ladder box off your temple, watch what junk meal, junk food, what junk what you're money. consuming, putting through there. Yeah. Is it benefiting you? Is it or is it depleting your health? Yeah. But things like that could sort yeah. Be careful of watching the news because that's so depressing. Like, believe it or not, they don't want you to know. We're not denying what, what's going on in the news. We're not denying that's not happening in the world as we perceive it. But um, what they don't tell you is that for every bad, awful thing that's going on in the world, wars, murders, and all these other things, is that there's five, sometimes like ten times so more just, positive things happening yeah. compared to that one negative. So but they never enjoyable. tell you that. <laughs> they only tell you the, the one negative. And they don't tell you the, the hundred positive things that's yeah. happening to that one negative because they don't want you to feel happy. They want you to feel suppressed. So remember that when you're watching yeah. these things. Better still, don't watch the news. You can find out what's happening. I don't bother. Like, mostly just yeah, a whole of like lies. And I know some of it's true, but you can just, I just do what I can do in the world. I do it a lot every single day. So I'm extremely active in helping the world. But I don't bother listening to a whole of like negative news. And I know a lot of it's controlled by the Illuminati and everything anyway. But Social yeah. media as well, check it all the same. Yeah. All I know you're watching this on YouTube, everybody, but yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, but there's, there's a difference between good, there's uh, good and bad. I love yeah. social media, though, mm -hmm. it's been an amazing tool in my life, like extremely positive. And all I do is connect with amazing people and yeah. just give positive. and receive massive amounts of love. Like, yeah, the point so, I was making was the social media when you go on to social media. You're right, you're able to connect, or we wouldn't be able to connect now, but sadly, you also went stars. through <laughs> if you're on for safe toxic Facebook. And, you're and you've got you've got looking at negative stuff. Action yes. amount, X amount of friends Changing. on your friends yeah. list, and we we've stopped myself and them stopped Facebook personal that last Just year, last September. We well, basically, what happens is is you're actually you have friends on Facebook. Let's use Facebook as an example. Well, you have no control over what they're sharing or what status updates you're getting from them. So if that person's constantly sharing information about this person being beheaded or this angry oh, yeah, event or this son, and somebody else is doing it, somebody else is doing it then you as a person have no control yeah. over censoring that information you're coming to it. So yeah, good what point. I'm saying is that social media, yes, mm. has its benefits. Surround yourself with positive Take things. responsibility. But if you're willing to yeah. really mm. get yourself into the zone away from that vibration of you know, hate, anger, fear, yeah. all them things are all going to collide. Yes, well, not like saying it could be people in real life too, so I totally agree Brilliant. with you. It's yes. like yeah. any form of negativity. Like, so it's, if you want to wake up a pineal gland, do you want to like raise your vibration and your joy levels like Lynn was saying? Raise your vibration. Woo! Get, yeah, get happy. Get serious about your life. And ask and you shall receive. So I'd like to say, ask your guides or the spirit or the universe um, if, if this is truly meant for you. I'd like, I'd like to say you can relax because if it's meant for you now, you'll get it. You get what you you get. You will get what you need when you need it, and uh, you won't get what your ego wants when your ego wants it. By the way, so you can rest and relax and just 
chill out and you don't have to be striving out. against Wonderful. just about this Wonderful. just you're you're guided loved and supported like 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 i always say every day almost everyone and myself yeah <laughs> we're all guided loved and supported and it's not the be all and end all in life to just give yourself time enjoy the journey is what i'd say and enjoy every part of the Wouldn't journey of life yeah. every, physical mental emotional spiritual pineal root chakra sensual chakra creative chakra heart chakra communicational just make little improvements and be happy and enjoy yeah. your life the happier be you happy are, the more receptive and the more open you'll be yeah that's what you were saying earlier yeah. that's really good like what you're saying everybody you everybody would be wanting um Fix right away today. <laughs> you know what I mean? They want it done today, and that's, that's the nature of the beast. That's everybody wants it today. Um, what we would say, guys, is change the name of how to wake the canoe man next hour, next hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we would say to you is this here is don't be trying to rush it. You know yeah. what I mean? We're by all means, our, our, our pineal gland's not completely open, but it's opening. And it's it's opening faster and faster, faster and faster, and we're in no rush to do this. Yeah. We're enjoying this load. What says, and just enjoy the journey. So, be happy. have patience. You know what I mean? And don't be trying to put yourself under constraints or time constraints. This is going to be, you know, going to, I'm going to have to get it done. There's a bigger picture here, guys. It starts with starting loving yourself and communicating with the most important person. Do it. The most important love person you. in your life is you, your heart Beautiful, self. I love that, yeah. yeah. And that's what we need to do. And that's yeah. where the pineal gland is. You're connecting to the soul. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's a gateway to the soul. Yeah. So let's start loving ourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get happy. Start loving yourselves. Yeah. Raise your vibration. Cut out the negativity. Was Sean was saying, and, I was, and he was negative saying, take and responsibility mm-hmm. and increase the positivity. Food, health, body, fitness, sleep, uh, friends. Can, I'd want to say, if you want to awaken your pineal glands, connect and reach out and make really good quality friends who have your back and love you and respect you and inspire you and bring out the best in you. And you be everything you want from the best friend or relationship you could possibly get and more. So heaps of self work or like self cultivation. And uh, mm-hmm. inner growing up mm-hmm. as a human that's divine amazing. being. Yeah, wonderful. So be happy today. Yeah, and that's it. That's brilliant. Said, that's wonderful. That's a, that's absolutely amazing words. Love it. Beautiful. So there you yeah. go, guys. We we just sharing you. what we had, we have done and are doing to help open our pineal glands. Well, pineal, 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 whatever you like, tomato, tomato. Um, <laughs> Potato, <laughs> to, to help open it as much as possible. And obviously, we, we're still learning this. We're still opening our pineal gland yeah. even more. We're so good at it, though. We'll be updating <laughs> this in the future, what's helping us even more. And we're putting it down. Yeah. It would be wrong for us not to really touch, maybe just briefly, because it would be a video on itself about drugs and opening up <laughs> uh, the pineal gland and things like that. We've got... You know views on it and yeah. go too deep but like once again i would still say yeah. you know any anything that any substance or anything we're putting into the body into the sacred temple um be very very careful of uh, one why you're doing it two why you believe you need to do it yeah and three the effect on it because a lot of people would probably want to take you know let's say for the guy of Waskin, great respect yeah. for that ceremony it's a healing Absolutely. ceremony but I would say, tell you, just be very careful. Remember the quick fix we mentioned there. You know, some people just want to take the pill. They want to take the powder. They want to take the juice. They want to take the drink. And, you know, they're waking us here. That's a quick fix. That's just getting a wee glimpse off a page. Somebody telling you, like, when you buy a book and you get a wee uh, synopsis off the, the book, oh, this is going to be this, that, and the other. Well, that's all you're going to get when you take a drug for it. You have to address the mind, body, and spirit. Yeah, you know, so. I think ayahuasca, though, for example, can have a very powerful strong lifelong part and mm-hmm. in inner healing and letting go of blockages it's, as well can't it's been known to cure the cancer wow. of people's minds yeah. so i would have yeah. to speak that but i would yeah. think that you know the same person would possibly have to address other issues exactly um, yeah to, you know to make it long lasting but the plant medicines could be brilliant as 100%. long as they're being responsible and doing the other things as well like like inner stuff yeah. and i'm not anti-drugs by the way <laughs> i've been taking uh, you've been pure drugs salt. from 12 years of age uh, solvent <laughs> abuse and drug abuse and alcohol abuse and all types of different drugs yeah. um, for the next 30 years after that so i am drug free to certain uh contacts of drug free i take no illegal or legal drugs i take coffee so technically drugs well caffeine really but right. so i'm not here to <laughs> preach about not doing drugs but the fact is just be careful if you're going to be taking drugs yeah. to um, open up this uh, pineal gland because of the bigger picture okay so Added. i think that was fantastic is there's there anything else you guys want to say no nope, i think that's it covered it in a nutshell in a nutshell yeah so that's everything you finished yeah so, perfect brother yeah. so everyone I, i've really enjoyed making this video and I, the three of us have we've loved it so i hope you guys have really enjoyed it too i hope it's been valuable and of value to you and you've appreciated it and loved it 
and we we send you our thanks and gratitude for your time your energy your love support and appreciation and if you don't mind we'd we'd love it even more as well also if you could like the video to su support its popularity and give it a share with your friends or family um on your social media or even friends you know if you like it and um just any, leave any of your comments or experiences which what's helped you um and subscribe if you're new and thanks and lots of love for me and personally absolutely bye. I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness as always from Ireland. Guys, send you love. Thank you very much. God Bye. bless. <laughs> we probably do this at the same time. <laughs> See you later, See guys. You. Bye.